British uh, teach us how to deliver speech. They usually tell, they have told us to say, ladies and gentlemen, your excellencies, and so on and so forth. But now I didn't see anyone who said, ladies and gentlemen, your excellencies, scientists, and so on and so forth. But because we didn't stop saying that in my country, I mean, I would like to say, ladies and gentlemen, dear scientists and distinguished guests, I came from Ethiopia. My name is Tashoma Brahano, and I will present you the importance of Hizmet movement in the process of peace building in Ethiopia. Before commencing to the activities of Hizmet movement and its unbounded efforts to build peace, tolerance, interface cooperation, and dialogue in Ethiopia, please allow me to bring into light the brief history of my country, Ethiopia. When the name of Ethiopia is mentioned, different people may create different image in their mind. Whatsoever the image may be, I can proudly say that it is one of the important contributors to the civilization of the world. For example, Lucy, which is estimated to have lived 3.2 million years of age, is from Ethiopia. In addition to Lucy, we have the stairs of Aksum, which is carved from one stone representing 11 stories, building for more than 2,000 years. <clears throat> we have a three-story hewn church of Lalivala in different places and many hewn churches, in fact, out of one piece of stone. Uh, <clears throat> both Aksum and the stairs of the, uh, both Aksum of the stale and the hewn churches of Lalibala are referred as the wonders of the world. I don't know where Europe, Asia, and America were 2,000 years before, but we had 11-story building 2,000 years before and three-story th three hewn church out of one single stone in Laliba about 800 years before. It is also believed that Part of the true cross of Jesus, together with the Ark of the Covenant, is said to be found in Ethiopia. This makes Ethiopia unique. Ethiopia is also the spot of the first hijra in Islam, in Islamic history, and the oldest Muslim settlement in Africa, at the place known, at known, at a place known Najashi, which is Najashi International School. Uh, took the name from that special place and that special historical background. Bilal, who was one of the closest friends of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was an Ethiopian. It is Ethiopia, the symbol of independence in Africa and other, and other colonized countries. But if that was the case, why is Ethiopia now one of the poorest countries in the world? I have no interest to make things obscure by asking such questions, but to make things clear that civilization can be destroyed by war of conflict and can be turned out into unbelievable story. This is what we have. As a matter of fact, the war of conflict could be motivated to get political supremacy in the name of a religion as just what happened in my country, Ethiopia. But whatever, whatsoever the intention was, the war that continued from the 10th century to the 21st century in the name of religion, especially between the Christian monarchs and the Muslim sultans of Adal, Hausa, 
Wolasma have left the country devastated. Many of the reference <coughs> to Christianity churches, monasteries, religion, religious artists, sacred books, etc., were destroyed as many of the Islamic references, mosques, teaching centers, including one of the biggest Islamic university of Dela, now northern Somalia, and other Islamic information sources were mercilessly destroyed. The necessity of, if that is the case, we need tolerance, we need peaceful coexistence, we need harmonious relationship among our people. Currently, according to the Constitution of Ethiopia, everyone has the right to freedom of thought, concise, and religion. This right includes the freedom to hold or to adopt a religion or belief of his choice and the freedom either individually or in community with others and in public or private to manifest his religion or belief in worship, observance, practice, and teaching. Believers may establish institutes of religion, education, and administration in order to propagate and organize their religion. religion. No one shall be subject to coercion or other means which would, which, would restrict, which would restrict or prevent this freedom to hold a belief in his choice. Nevertheless, nevertheless, despite the religious pluralism and social coexistence, as well as the new constitutional order which guarantees religion freedom and equality, Ethiopia has seen a rise of religious conflict in recent years. Because of this fact, his met movement, which is working for peaceful coexistence and mutual understanding and harmonious relation, has proved to, to be important in education and other social responsible, response, responsibilities areas. Among others, it is activities in education, provision of safe, safe and sufficient water supply, and adequate sanitation service, and provision of health care. Humanitarian, humanitarian aid for the poor and orphan together with Turkish voluntary response representing an international NGO, Kimse Yok Mu, are worth mentioning. The details of the activities are in the paper sent to the organizers because, of, because I have written about 45 pages. I cannot present it here. The details, as I, as I just mentioned earlier, it is left to the organizers. Anyway, this time, many students from high school and the University of Ethiopia are introduced with the objective of Hizmet movement. The movement encourages the youth and women to be active participants of peace, building, tolerance, and mutual understanding initiatives. It is believed that the movement is working to help deter young Ethiopian and women for violence and terrorism and that tangible commitment to inter intercultural dialogue as exhibited by participants has the potential to increase tolerance among the people of different cultural, culture and religious background. These results are crucial for helping to overcome negative stereotype of religion. Ladies and gentlemen, many Ethiopians have visited historical and religious sites of Turkey being invited by Nejashi into a Turkish International School. Forum for Dialogue, Coexistence, and Tolerance were organized by Hizmet Group at the Conference of Africa Union in 1912 and nine, in, in 2012 and 2013. In the Conference of 2012 and 2013, that was organized under the motto of establishing and sustaining the Culture of Coexistence and Mutual Understanding Forum, the highest level of officials of Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, the ambassadors of many African and non-African countries, the officials from African Union Commission, officials of the Turkish Embassy and other embassies in Ethiopia, and members of Negashi, Ethiopia Turkish Inter International School and the Inter 
Religious Council of Ethiopia, the representatives of the followers of different religions in Ethiopia, the academicians and the international participants delivering their valuable message in, in the forum, respect the scientists, actors, artists, representatives of Ethiopia and international media uh, were taking part in the conference. The objective of the forum, the forums of 2012 and 2030 were to generate a forum, a forum for discussion concerning the modern human condition in which human faces many questions and dialogues and as to how human can coexist in peace and mutual understanding. It was also intended to transform human encounters with one another into enriching experiences. Well, now I have to summarize and come to a conclusion in my uh, recommendations. Although his met movement, as a movement started in its activities in Ethiopia so recently, it has achieved remarkable results. First and foremost, the vigilant activists of his met movement who are working just like bees to produce honey, just they are working just like bees producing honey, are shaping and showing a new direction in the spirit of Gulen and Said Nursi by providing books, books, personal meetings, symposiums, dialogue forums. Persons like Muhtar Ibrahim, Mr. Ed, uh, Errol Dede, and Jalil and Hussein are party, practical examples of love, respect, tolerance for all people regardless of their color, race, ethnic group, religious, and other personal issues. As I stated above, Najashi Ethio Turkish International School, which are non-religious and non-denominational secular schools sponsored by local interpreters and dedicated parents are getting acceptance among the parents such as uh, parents much better than the others in such a short period of time. These schools, whether they are in Addis Ababa or 1,000 kilometers from outside of Addis Ababa, have become the symbol of harmonious interface and intercultural relationship. Many Christian and Muslim parents are expressing their thankfulness to the schools. This is the most important contribution that was not done so far by other foreign community schools. This mere fact indicates that such type of schools are needed all over the region. The social responsibilities that are expressed in terms of food aids and health assistance are great imp impact on the future development of the relationship between Ethiopia and Turkey. But as Ethiopia is a virgin land, we, both Ethiopia and Turkey, need to work so as to enhance our economic development. As the saying goes, if you feed a person a fish, you feed him for a day. But if you show him how to fish, you feed him for many, many days. To make this more practical and meet the objective of his movement in Ethiopia, we need many Turkish investors as soon as possible. And the door is open for investors at this time. I have learned that Hizmet Relief, which is a non-profit organization that brings together teams of volunteers to collaborate on local aids and disaster relief efforts. These teams provided an array of support offering to assist financial, emotional, and physical with the needs of familiar and communities ravaged by disaster. I think such organization can serve the people of Ethiopia and other African countries if only through studies are made in this respect. I also highly recommend such teams to assist the developing world. Although his movement is a movement which functions in many areas from education, media, and healthcare services to interface and intercultural dialogue, it needs more organized work. For example, 
activities of his movement are now the Turkish citizens that are relentlessly and unselfishly working. Nevertheless, millions of the stakeholders have to assist the movement, taking into consideration that it is working for the world peace, regardless of their divergent attitude of culture. Ethiopia, as part of the world, has many difficulties to solve. Nevertheless, if it, assisted, if it is assisted economically and socially, it can easily combat its ardent enemy, that is poverty, ignorance, and division. I believe his, his movement that is working to bring peace, love, tolerance, respect to Ethiopia shall work to gain more achievements in the country. So far, the importance of his movement in the process of building, peace building in Ethiopia is great. All Islamic schools, that is madrasas, are traditional with the exception of two or more madrasas established about a decade ago. The traditional madrasas that are the majority are, the traditional madrasas that are the majority are Sunni Sufi oriented, the others are very minority, are Salafi Wahhabi oriented. While the traditional religion leaders were preaching Islam for one, hundred, one and a half million, uh, half, one and a half millennium, were working without antagonizing other religions through uh, religious thoughts and beliefs, the modern ones that are guaranteed some 10 hundred thousand, that hundreds of Hafizes followed by convinced or converted Muslim attempt to make believe that the practice of Sufism is un-Islamic. It is true that some practice need to be corrected, but the need to eradicate the thinking together with the people is another thing. Thus, Hizmet movement in Ethiopia need to have its media group that publish magazines, newspapers, journals, electronics, electronic media, so as to enhance its tolerance, love, respect, peaceful coexistence objective in the country where there is no any Islamic organ at this time. Finally, the author of this paper would like to forward one of the comments, the comments given by one of his article readers, but I have uh, deleted it anyway, it's, uh, I have left it there because there are problems of those radical extremists in our country, in both cases, in Muslim and Christian. It is true, the people of Ethiopia lived harmoniously and peacefully. As there is interface and intermarriage, there is also tight light relationship between people of different religions and faiths. On top of this, the existing government has made all regions, faiths, faiths, nations, nationalities, and races equal and free. But it does not mean that there are no people who are blinded by their ego, as there are people of the same kind everywhere in the world. Hence, we need his movement to, uh, we, his movement <coughs> to be one of the most important tools for creating and flourishing love tolerance in this respect. May Almighty Allah, God, shower Hoja Afendi with health and tranquility and happiness for the rest of, for the rest of his life. Amen. Thank you very much.